Hi, I'm Beth Rodden. Um, I'm going to go through my racking system for a long multi pitch route trad climb. Um, because when I'm racking things and going on a route, I like to have everything kind of compartmentalized and just know exactly where everything is. That way, if I get to a hard section or if I'm kind of like lost on a route and wandering, I don't have to think about where gear is. I know exactly where everything is. Um, and I use this almost every time I rack up for a climb. So first I'm going to start with um, my set of cams. I have a gear sling and what I normally do is I have a double set of cams and the smallest size, the gray, I usually just take one of unless I know the route and I need a lot of small gear then I'll add to that. Um, doubles all the way up to one single of the biggest one. Um, and one thing that I do because I don't like my gear sling to be too wide and cumbersome is I take the same size piece and I rack it to the beaner. And I find, I'm pretty short, I find it actually doesn't hang down too long. It works really nice and then you can kind of look down and see all of them together and it kind of keeps it a lot narrower. I take a set of nuts and I put them over on my left side, the opposite side of my rack. I take a blade device with a locker and I put it on one of my back um, gear loops. I take an extra, one extra locker for belays and then I take a double shoulder length sling for belays with a locker and how I kind of like wrap this up is you start with the full sling and then I twist it once and then connect it so now it's just like a shoulder length sling and then I just spin it and let it kind of spin up on itself and take the two ends and then clip the locker through there. And so then I put that back where I have my belay device and my other locker and this is kind of like my anchors, like anything I need for my anchors back here. Um, then I'll take anywhere from six to 10 um, sh normal shoulder length slings with one beaner attached to them. Um, and you wanna make sure you put this on over the gear sling that has all your cams on it because you'll be taking these off throughout the route and you don't wanna have to take this off to get to these. So I put one beaner on here because um, normally what I'm finding is I'm primarily placing cams. So you only need one beaner because if you go and you place a piece, then all you need to do is take this, clip it in here, and then you can clip your rope in here. You don't need two, two beaners on your shoulder length slings. But if for some reason I place a nut, then you do need two. So I take about five extra beaners. And one thing you can do is you can clip them all organized. So you, you just clip them together, take your top one, and then when you take them off, it's really nice and organized. So I put these over on the other back gear gear loop from my anchor system and then finally I take anywhere from you know six to ten uh, normal length quick draws and I put those on the same gear loop as I have my nuts and I put them behind it so my nuts are readily available and this is for like if it's kind of wandery and you need to extend a cam or a nut or you know if there are bolts on the route or anything like that you just have um, draws that are already pre-made and you don't have to have this huge thing around your neck um, and then i just tie in and i'm ready to go so this is kind of my system i know where everything is um, obviously if you have root beta you can kind of like adjust your um, cam setup like if i knew that i needed a lot more big gear i could unload some of these if i needed a lot of small gear i would you know, triple up on some of those. Um, but it works great and I know where everything is.